from iconic brands to long-standing chains. There are 10 big box retailers that are about to go under. As we enter 2023, the retail landscape is undergoing significant transformations, with several major retailers making the difficult decision to shut down and close stores. In this video, we will count down the top 10 retailers that are expected to close their doors this year. From the impact of e-commerce to evolving consumer preferences, these store closures carry significant implications. So let's get started. The popular fast food chain Burger King plans to close up to 14 restaurants before the end of this year. This week, the CEO of Restaurant Brands International Inc., which owns Burger King, announced they are preparing to close between 300 and 400 locations. The CEO, Joshua Kobza, said in a call announcing quarter one earning results that the company historically closes a couple hundred Burger King restaurants each year. So far this year, several large Burger King franchises have filed for bankruptcy. According to a restaurant Brands International release, 124 Burger Kings have already shuttered this year, bringing the total number in the United States to fewer than 7,000. Cobes has said in the call that the company plans to focus on working with smaller franchises to improve the overall health of the company's franchise system. He also added that the company plans to allow only high-quality operators to build or acquire existing restaurants who will operate regionally and with local ownership. However, even with the restaurant shutdowns, Burger King appears to have a strong balance sheet. In its previous quarter, Burger King U.S. reported an 8.7% sales boost. CVS, one of the largest prescription retailers in the United States, has announced it will close at least 300 of its pharmacies annually for the next three years. The closures are part of a larger plan to shut down 900 stores nationwide by the end of 2026. CVS CEO Karen Lynch stated that their retail stores are fundamental to the company's strategy and that they remain focused on their competitive advantage in the thousands of communities across the United States. CVS's announcement of its plan to close 900 stores by 2026, with at least 300 stores closing annually for the next three years, has raised great concerns about the impact on customers and staff. While the company stated that it wants to maintain access to pharmacy services for those who may be affected, the store closures have caused inconvenience for many customers. Walgreens also plans to close two hundreds of its stores across the United States. Walgreens officially confirmed the plan to close stores as part of what company spokeswoman Alexandra Brown called a transformational cost management program. This is designed to speed up an ongoing business transformation at Walgreens, increase efficiency, and allow the company to make investment in key areas. Walgreens Boots Alliance, the parent company of Walgreens, operates 9,560 drugstores across the United States. Last year, it announced the rolling out of its first major drone delivery operation in Dallas, Fort Worth. It is a first sign of its push towards online retail. This year, two Walgreens outlets in Orlando, Florida, have already closed their doors and in February, more stores were shuttered in the states of New York and Vermont. The store Big Lots is shutting down some stores as a retailer moves towards small towns and away from urban areas. The discount chain's latest closures include stores in urban and suburban parts of California and Colorado. CFO Jonathan Ramsden said during an earnings call that some of those closures are happening because Big Lots plans to sell the store sites. In other cases, the company's closing locations that it says are underperforming. Going into 2023, Big Lots is also trying to increase the number of stores 
it has in more sparsely populated areas of the United States. Jonathan Ramsen said, in small towns, Big Lots faces fewer competitors and can operate storage for less money, leading to more profit than its locations in or nearby major metro areas. Ramsden stated, Our real estate strategy is going to be increasingly oriented towards these rural small town stores, where the economics are significantly stronger than in the urban stores. The changes to Big Lot store network come as a company faces declining sales. Historically high inflation has hit low income consumers. Big Lot's primary customer base was especially hit hard. And that has led many of them to hold off on buying the non essential items that Big Lot sells. While Big Lots is closing multiple stores in 2023, that does not mean there are not a decent number of locations still operating. Overall, there are approximately 1,400 Big Lots locations in the United States, with all but two states having at least one store. Recently, Macy's has confirmed the closure of 80 stores. For a while now, the clothing retailer has struggled with the emergence of online sales. Around the beginning of the crisis in 2020, Macy's announced it would close 125 stores by 2023 and lay off 2,000 employees over the next three years. Jeff Jeanette Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the company announced in an earnings call that it has closed 80 locations since then and plans to close another five this year. While Macy's is closing stores, it is deploying a new strategy. It is focusing on locations outside the mall and smaller locations. The clothing retailer has opened 10 stores in strip centers. The new stores are called Bloomies. And market by Macy's, which are about 20% of the size of a traditional location. They will feature more narrow offerings of popular brands, and the items in the store will be rotated frequently to keep things up to date. A Texas home goods favorite is closing its doors after 49 years in business. Tuesday morning, initially filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in May 2020. At that time, The chain said it planned on closing hundreds of stores to focus on high performance locations. The company filed a second bankruptcy in February 2023 due to exceedingly burdensome debt. Tuesday morning said it was going to continue to operate in high traffic regions and close unprofitable and underperforming stores. By doing that, the company said. Tuesday morning could emerge from bankruptcy with a profitable, cash generating store fleet that serves its most engaged and loyal customers. Foot Locker also plans to close up to 420 of their 1,300 North American mall based stores by 2026, represents a closure of approximately 32.3%. Instead, they are looking to open around 300 smaller, freestanding stores. Which are geared towards a different audience and higher price items. As part of parent company Foot Locker's business reorganization, 125 underperforming Champ Sports locations will close before the end of 2023, representing a quarter of their total locations. Store executives announce that after struggling for years, Bed, Bath and Beyond filed for bankruptcy. And is winding down operations. They are closing all of the 360 stores left and holding Bed Bath and Beyond liquidation sales. Every Bed Bath and Beyond location will be closed by June 30th, 2023. Also, as part of Bed Bath and Beyond's bankruptcy filing, all 122 Bye Bye Baby stores in 37 states will also close. Bye bye baby liquidation sales will run through June 30th, 2023.